Now that we've got our cube, what we want to try and do is we want to construct some more simple shapes and more complex ones on top and on the sides of these cubes. So on the top, we're going to add a triangular prism to kind of construct it into a little house. And then on our spaces of our cubes here, we're going to try and create some ellipses as like windows. So trying to keep it nice and simple, but also to challenge you as well. So to create a triangular prism like a roof, what we need to do is along this line here, we know, or this line here, whichever one, we know that it's six centimeters wide. So we're roughly just gonna find the halfway point using our ruler. So that's three centimeters like so. I'm then going to line up my set square with my baseline like this towards the bottom of my page. And I'm going to project that line up as high as I want my roof to go. Now this line indicates the point of our roof like so, so the highest point. What we're then going to do with that line is we're simply going to connect it to each corner of our cube, like so. One and two. So we can see that because of the angle, it has skewed it a little bit, which is totally fine. But we still need to make sure that we're using isometric lines to construct the rest. So we have the front of our roof. We need to create the side part. Using our set square, we're going to line it up like so with the point of our roof. And when that interacts, we're simply gonna draw a line as far as we need to go. It can go a bit further than that. It can go a little bit shorter, perfectly further because we can always erase it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure that line to be, you guessed it, six centimeters because we're working with the cube. We're gonna mark it and then we're simply going to connect that top point to the back point. We don't need to worry about this section here because when we erase our lines we actually can't see it. So if we clean up our workspace a little bit we'll see that we're left with a nice triangular prism sitting on top of our cube constructing this little house. Okay so now that we've got a bit of a base for our house what we want to do is we want to start practicing drawing circles. Now because of the way we're working on a 30 degree angle circles don't look like circles they look more like ovals or as we call them ellipses. So the best way to actually construct them is you need a square first and what I've done as we can see on the front face here is I've built a smaller square on the inside and then you know a bit of a frame on the outside to so imagine this square in the center is our window. This square is four by four centimeters. And I did that simply by measuring a centimeter in from each corner here and then drawing down and then a centimeter up from here and a centimeter down from there and then drawing across using my set square on the 30 degree angle like so. Now that I have that four by four centimeter space, what I wanna do is I wanna turn this square into a window. So I need to find the halfway point on each side. And because I know it's four centimeters, it's gonna be two centimeters here and two centimeters down this way. I'm gonna use my set square to slide along like so until it interacts with this point. When it does, I know I can draw a 30 degree line towards the left to kind of cut it in half as we can see. And then for this point here, I'm simply gonna line my base up of my set square with my baseline. And when it's like that, I'm gonna draw a line straight down. And as you can see, I've constructed a window. Well, a very stereotypical looking window. Now that I've got it into four quadrants, what I need to do is this is where we need to use some of our freehand skill. So when we're using our freehand skill, we need to understand that these curves of our circle are gonna mirror one another and these ones are gonna mirror one another, but they're gonna look quite different. So let's start with this top left one. From this angle, it's gonna be quite a sharp turn. We're gonna start by hugging the boundary and then we're going to curve like so. And as you can see, I'm working in short strokes because it might take a few goes to get it right. I'm pretty happy with that curve. As we can see, it's quite sharp. And because I've got that, I know that the opposite one here is basically gonna mirror that. So I'm gonna try and copy it as best as I can. Those look pretty similar. They should kind of reflect one another. If they look completely different, you may need to redraw one of them. These sections here, our line's gonna be a little bit more open. So it's gonna start by hugging the boundary, but then quickly jump off. And then it's gonna 
barely deviate. It's going to be a very slight curve, like so. And as you can see, going over it a lot of times. I know now I need to kind of mirror that angle by drawing a really subtle curve, like so. And if I'm able to do that, I've got a pretty nice looking ellipses. As you can see, freehand skill is required, but it does take a few goes, and I am very happy for you to sketch it and be quite rough with it, because you can always fine line it and clean it up later. But that's how we construct an ellipses. Your challenge would then be trying to replicate it on this side as well.